Hey guys, I'm Nick, aka the one only Nick's Games, Games, today I'm going to be teaching you guys exactly how you can record PC games using open broadcaster software. So let's go ahead and jump on into this. First off, in under scenes, you need to right click and then click add scene. We'll call this PC Gaming. Click enter or OK and then in sources, we want to right click add game capture okay because we are capturing a pc game your game does have to be open and as you can see we do have minecraft open up here to uh to record and, and just as an example so i'll add minecraft and for minecraft we want to go to java w or minecraft 1.7.9 for you you'll see whatever game you're wanting to play for league of legends call of duty whatever you will see that here so click that and then click ok now, you've got Minecraft in sources, but unfortunately, if we preview this, it's not 1080p, okay? And the reason it's not 1080p is because the actual Minecraft itself, if we drag it over here, as you guys can see, is not 1080p. Because this video is 1080p, if it was 1080p, it'd be the size of the video. It's actually 720p. So, what we have to do is actually downscale that using our profiles, and we'll get to that in a second. But now, you've got this added, and if you did want to scale this up, I would not recommend doing this. But if you did want to scale this up, it's going to be very, very fuzzy. But you can simply take this red box and drag it out all the way until uh, until it's not, you know, until it's full screen. But it's going to be hard to do, and uh, it's going to make your quality look bad. So, I would just rather have it in 720p, so let's go ahead and fit that back to screen that way it'll be perfect whenever we change it to 720p now that's when you're done with that click edit scene again and then click stop preview now let's go up here to our profiles we need to set up a brand spanking new profile for pc gaming so we'll do pc gaming and then we'll add that now if we go down here through encoding this is actually set up for twitch.tv so give me a moment uh, to go through all this. I'm going to walk through all of this with you guys rather than just telling you to copy it. So max bitrate, I would recommend a 5,000 bitrate for most people. If you have a really good graphics card, you can do a 15,000, which is what I actually record at. For now, however, we'll leave it at 5,000, which is most definitely 1080p. First, as far as audio goes, it's going to be AAC MP3 format, or AAC format is 48 kilohertz. My microphone is a 48 kilohertz microphone, and that is why I record at 48 kilohertz. However, if you do not have a 48 kilohertz microphone, you have a 44.1 kilohertz mic, go ahead and downscale that. For me, however, it is 48. As far as bitrate goes for audio, I like to turn that all the way up because the better the audio quality, you know, the, you know, the better the audio quality or the higher the bitrate, the better quality. Channel stereo because I do have a stereo mic. If you have a mono mic, um, you know, go ahead and choose mono. For me, it's stereo. After that, go ahead and click save. Broadcast settings. We don't want to output to twitch.tv here because we're simply recording a PC game locally. So file output only. And then simply hit browse and go to wherever you want to save it. Your external hard drive, your videos, your desktop. And type what you want your file names to be. And so that for me is recording. After that, we move on to video. Now this is where we change it to 720p. So right now it's 1280 by or 1920 by 1080 or 1080p. We don't want that. We want 720p because we can only record Minecraft on 720p on our second monitor. So let's go ahead and uh, do that in 1280 by 720. And then downscale none with a 30 FPS because that's the max FPS YouTube allows. Go ahead and click apply and then move on to audio. For audio, I would recommend just leaving your default desktop audio. That's always worked for me. That'll pick up the Minecraft or your whatever game volume that you have. And that should work perfectly fine. Go ahead and choose your microphone here. For me, that's going to be my Blue Snowball. For you, it might be your Audio-Technica AT2020, your Turtle Beach headset, your whatever. Whatever your microphone is, go ahead and select that there. And then I would recommend leaving all of that the same. When we move on to Advanced, pretty much you just need to leave all of this the same. Everything here should be exactly the same as it is right here on mine. Nothing should be different except maybe allow other modifiers on hotkeys. Might be enabled for me if it's not for you, and that's fine. You don't have to change that. But nevertheless, that is how you can now set up a PC gaming recording profile. Now, that's this one is actually what I set up for you guys. Mine does record at, at 15,000 bit rate, and this one's 720p. So now, if we hit preview stream, we'll see that Minecraft, if we fit to screen here, is 720p perfectly ready to go. So there you guys have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up. It really does help me out. If you want to know how to do anything else in OBS, simply let me know what that is in the comment section down below and I'll do a tutorial on it. I would consider myself very, very good with this software. I've been using it for almost a year now. 
or over a year, almost two years probably. So let me know in the comment section down below what you want to see if you have any other thing, any other things you want to know in OBS. Nevertheless, guys, I'm Nick's Games, and I'm out. Peace. And here's some videos you guys might want to go check out. On the left is should you get a gaming PC, in which I break down should you or should you not get a gaming PC. Should you stick to console? Should you switch to PC? That video will tell you exactly what I think you should do and, and give you actually some things to consider and uh, let you make your own decision, actually. And on the right is an intro to OBS. It is a complete breakdown of the open broadcaster software that you saw here. I'll tell you how to do live streaming, recording. i tell you how to do everything. Everything. It's like 15 minutes long, and it is an amazing, amazing video that will make you an OBS expert. Go check it out. Also, check out my daily vlogs and bombs on your screen. Anyway, guys, I'm Nick's Games, and I'm out. Peace.